So now let us look into how to use Windows environment to access the labs. Either you have to set up PuTTY and WinSCP. Uh, PuTTY is to connect to the machine and WinSCP is to copy the data. Or you can actually set up SIGWIN uh, and also make sure Chrome is installed. So between PuTTY and WinSCP versus SIGWIN, you can choose whatever you want. I would highly recommend to go with SIGWIN than PuTTY and WinSCP combination. But I will show how to use the environment in both the ways. Okay, so now I am connecting to my Windows machine. Uh, make sure Chrome is installed. I already have Chrome. I try to use Chrome as much as possible rather than in Internet Explorer. And uh, first, go to labs.itversity.com. Let me set as default. Okay, so here, if you have active subscription or uh, uh, active enrollment to the lab, just log into the lab and you will get the credentials here. This is the username and this is the password. You know that uh, if you click on open console and uh, copy paste the username and password, uh, you will be able to log into the lab. On Windows, make sure you use control C and control V or shift, uh, sorry, once the username is copied, you can use shift insert if control V does not work. And now you are into the lab. This is one of the uh, straightforward way to connect to the lab, but at times this uh, environment might not be stable if you try to connect like this. Rather, you have to uh, connect through uh, client tools such as PuTTY, SIGWIN, etc. So, if you have to set up PuTTY for this, just Google for PuTTY, download or install PuTTY. Okay, and uh, click on this. Click on this. And you can see there is a 32 bit uh, version and 64 bit version. I would highly recommend to go for 64 bit version. You just click on this and uh, it will be downloaded. Double click and it will be installed. Once it is installed, you can search for it and you can launch it like this. And now you need to understand how to get the information from here. So the host name which you will be connecting is gw01.itversity.com gw01.itversity.com okay so let me make sure you can see it Okay, so this is the host name, gw01.itversity.com. Okay, and then you can click on uh, open. Here, you have to give the username. The username can be typed from here. And then when it comes to password, you click on copy password and then just right click don't use control v either right click or use shift insert and hit enter and you are in the lab okay so using putty you can connect to the lab like this if you have to copy data to this okay you have to set up an environment called a tool called winscp so just search for winscp click on this link and listen to me, don't uh, click on uh, start download directly. Uh, the, the start download is for the advertisement. Ironically, the advertisement's download is bigger than uh, the WinSCP download itself. And, uh, and also it's not very intuitive. Uh, if you see, it says download WinSCP and then it will take to this. It, it, it does not download immediately. Anyway, 
So now you can click on this installation package. It will download a exe file. You just double click and install it. I have installed WinSCP also already. So I'm just opening it now. Okay, so whatever you are seeing on the left side is actually your Windows PC. Now it is asking us to connect to the new site. So let me give a name to it. gw01.itversity.com host name gw okay for some reason i'm not able to add let me delete this okay so let me first add it here so the protocol has to be sftp uh, i think you can use scp also but sftp is better gw01.itversity.com is the host name your name is dgaj raju and password I already have it in my buffer, so I just um, I just paste it, and then I'm saying login. Click on yes, and you can see the files which are in the home directory on my target machine. So if you have to copy anything from here, now you can just drag and drop from one one location to other location uh, on the left side you will have the local machine on the right side you will have the um, the remote machine okay so this is how you can actually copy files from your local pc to um, the lab and you can use your own data on the lab on top of whatever we have provided on the lab okay and also uh, let me see yeah. I think it will be saved with this name. Let me disconnect here. I'm also not very familiar with this. Yeah, session, disconnect. Okay, it is not saved. Somewhere we should be able to save, yeah. So let me show you how to save gw01.itversity.com bgajraju and enter the password click on save yeah now let us say save password you can also choose uh, the default folder if you want but i'm not doing that if you want to create a desktop shortcut you can do that click on okay and then you have the um, connection saved for you. Whenever you want, you just open it and double click it, you will be able to connect. For example, now I can say WinSCP. You can see it here, click on login. Boom, you are good to go. You will be able to copy the data between your local machine into the lab. Okay, and also even in PuTTY, you can actually save. So here I am uh, closing party and opening it again. Okay, you can say gw01.itversity.com, which is the username, uh, sorry, which is the host name. Let us save it with some, some name. Okay, click on save. And then if you want to load a particular one, you just choose that one and click on load. And then you can go to SSH. And here, you can actually, let me see, yeah, go to odd. Somewhere it will ask you to save the username. Terminal. Connection data auto login username. You can give the username here. Okay. If you want to set up the passwordless login, you can do that. Uh, but I'm not sure how to do that because I don't use Putty a lot. Okay. Now you can go go back to once you enter this information, you can go back to session and save it. 
okay now if i click on open it opens with the username automatically i just have to right click uh, the password which is already copied and hit enter and i'll be in the lab so this is how you can use putty a bit effectively okay we we also will see how to use sigwin uh, if i use windows for the demonstrations going forward i will prefer to use sigwin than using putty okay and we will see that as, as a separate video